My name is Sophie Makuruma. I work with Christian Aid in Malawi. I'm the head of programs for Enhancing Community Resilience Project. My first CBA was um, CBA 5, and since then, my focus on adaptation has, has changed. CBA has helped me to focus on community adaptation at a household level. So it somehow it coincided with the proposal development to DFID, Norwegian Embassy and, and Irish Aid. And my input into that project was really emphasizing on how every effort would be contribute and benefit a household in terms of adaptation. Good morning. Um, my name is Stephen uh, Lekisoto. I come from uh, Masai Mara, uh, which is in Narrow County. Uh, together with Salaton, uh, and then we work in an organization called Medui. We, we came to this conference and we want to ask, uh, thank the conference organizers for giving us the opportunity. When we arrived here, we met so many people from other countries. Our biggest lesson is that uh, we are able to now understand that the challenges that are facing our community are not local. We have so many, we met so many communities, so many groups uh, in this conference who come from all corners of the world who are talking about the same thing as we are talking. Now we know the, the impacts of climate change or the, the climate change is a global issue and that uh, we were able to talk together, uh, we learn from each other things that are affecting uh, other people in other areas in the world and uh, we learn so many strategies that other people are using uh, in, those, in their own areas. Some of these things are very good for us. So when we go back to our communities, we shall be able to share a lot of this information. So um, and we have a message for everyone that um, as we continue to use uh, science and technology in education to, to, to find solutions for world problems, we must not forget our cultures. Hello, my name is Pablo Suarez. I am Associate Director for Research and Innovation at the Red Cross Red Crescent Climate Center. And I'm happy to report that I've been to every single CBA with the exception of the one in Tanzania. So I've been to eight out of nine. The first one in Bangladesh happened when I was a full-time researcher on climate and disasters. I was looking for people who investigated climate and disasters but who cared about people. And I found it at the community-based adaptation event. 10 years ago and that was one of the things a very important event for me because it made me say you know what I need to start working with people and for people that was the time when I decided to no longer be full-time researcher and I became what I am now which is a humanitarian worker one of the things I really love about CBA and its evolution over time from the first one a decade ago to the one now uh, let me say four things first one only event dealing with climate and adaptation that takes participants to spend half of the conference time to the field, to the places where people are actually suffering and actually trying to adapt. That's not happening elsewhere. The second thing is that this event allocates plans to allocate time to take risks, to do things that are out of the box. The sessions out of the box have become a tradition for CBA. The third thing is the infusion of games. We as Climate Center have been developing some ideas for participatory games. CBA gave us the space to try to polish, to experiment, to innovate. A fourth thing I want to say is that there is a phenomenal candidness from the organizers. We saw Mr. Salim, Mr. Organizer, tweet when he was a panelist saying this panel is only males and we need more gender balance in these events. That's the organizer. How much do you see of candid reflection? I celebrate CBA, I want to continue to be part of this. Hi, my name is Sean Martin. I work for World Wildlife Fund in the United States, and this is my first CBA conference. I came here because I was invited to talk to the audience about ecosystem-based adaptation, uh, which I've done 
a number of times for many different audiences, usually with conservation groups, uh, not so much development or humanitarian organizations. What I'm taking away from this conference is that even though I expected there would be differences in perspective between a development audience and a conservation audience that I normally work with, I didn't realize how profoundly different they were. Uh, in my work with uh, conservation organizations, I'm trying to inject the, uh, the people aspect into our work almost all the time. Here, I found myself trying to inject the environment into uh, the development work. And what I learned is I really need to think harder about my audience even though I was anticipating a lot of these issues, I need to think harder about my audience and anticipate what their reactions might be and be better prepared for them to respond. Hi, I'm Penny Urquhart. Um, I work independently on adaptation to climate change at the policy and strategic level. Um, I'm also, I was also one of the um, IPCC authors for the fifth assessment report working on the Africa chapter. I think this is my fourth CBA conference. Um, I found it very interesting to see the developments of the conferences as they go from year to year and the increasing um, sort of uh, detail and sophistication in the debate which is great to see. Because a lot of my work is at the, at the policy and strategy level, it's really incredibly valuable for me to con continue to get in touch with the reality on the ground. And the CBA conferences really provide the opportunity to do that because it's a great, efficient way to meet and interact with lots of people working on the ground from all of the areas of the world. So it's really, really valuable to see how people are grappling with the issues that would otherwise remain as um, statements on a piece of paper. You know, you now get a real sense of the reality affecting people in different regions. Uh, I'm Alec Mwale. I'm Program Officer for Climate Change Adaptation. I work for the Norwegian Church Aid in Zambia. We support partners who are implementing climate change adaptation in various communities in Zambia. I, this is my second uh, CBA conference that I'm attending. I attended the CBA 5 conference in uh, Bangladesh. And the CBA conferences have been uh, informative, they have been helpful in being able to build my capacity to be able to, prog uh, to, to assist program management of uh, the projects that uh, my partners are implementing in the various communities. The CBAs are informative and uh, the information that we get from uh, the CBAs has helped us in, in many ways in being able to be able to uh, contribute to re reduction of vulnerabilities of the communities in our countries where we uh, operate from. Thank you. I'm Vasita Vijayanayaka and I work as the Policy and Advocacy Coordinator for Climate Action Network South Asia. I'm here at the CBA with uh, one of the programs we have called Southern Voices, for which I'm the regional facilitator. Um, from CBA, what will I take back? I will take all the knowledge that I gathered on how adaptation is done on the ground and how communities are involved in deciding and uh, making decisions on how adaptation needs to be done and how culture and vulnerable groups are incorporated into the process as well. So it will help us with our joint principles on adaptation, which will be uh, based on how adaptation practices and plans and policies need to be participatory and inclusive. So the knowledge I gathered here would help me in making better decisions as to what work we need to do in different countries. Thank you. I'm uh, Chris Henderson. I work for Practical Action. I'm the Agriculture Policy Advisor based in UK. This is my second CBA. Um, it's reaffirmed my view that actually it's a really valuable process. It's uh, about sharing what works, um, but also what doesn't. And uh, I think it's really good to talk to fellow practitioners about the challenges we face. Um, in agriculture, adaptation is essential. So if we're going to have successful community-based adaptation, we need agricultural adaptation too. Um, I think many people perceive um, Climate Smart Agriculture, I mean this is people perhaps outside the CBA community, but they perceive Climate Smart Agriculture as the vehicle or delivery mechanism for getting that uh, adaptation in agriculture. However, it's a pretty um, controversial and, and confused process. Um, our view is it needs to be much better defined 
if it's to be relevant to community-based adaptation to marginalised and smallholder farmers. We see through our work that agroecology and agroecological approaches, you needn't be purist about this, is a powerful tool for adaptation. We in Practical Action think that it's an opportunity for justice or technology justice in agriculture. Thank you. My name is Mampo Tulo. I come from Lesotho, from Rural Self-Help Development Association, RSDA. I, this is my first time attending the CBA conference and what I'm taking away uh, in our context, the Lesotho context, is that if CBA is done well and EBA is done well, it's, it might be to the communities it's almost um, one thing and I have enjoyed going to the field, I have already made contacts, so we'll keep on communicating with the people we met in the field and also here we have made a very, in the conference, we have made very good contacts and we'll keep on communicating and exchanging the experience and in short it has been like uh, wonderful because it is a conference which have accommodated everyone. Hi, my name is Nawam Niles. I was supported to come to CBN 9 by the Southern Voices for Adaptation program. Uh, the Southern Voices program has been promoting the joint principles of adaptation, which is something my organization, Janath Action from Sri Lanka, has been uh, keen to promote in our national adaptation process. So for me, uh, community adaptation provides an interesting window into something very different from what we are focusing on, which is national adaptation, adaptation at national level, at a macro level, and coming here and looking at the amazing discussions and the views and feedback on community adaptation, that very micro level adaptation has been highly enlightening uh, to us because all this time we've been focusing on creating a, an overarching framework for adaptation and this conference seemed to reinforce the need for focusing on the community level uh, requirements, priorities and interests uh, in adaptation. Hi, my name is Tim Forsyth. I'm at the London School of Economics and Political Science. Uh, this is the second international conference on community-based adaptation that I have been to. I was at the one in Dakar in 2009 and I'm now at the one in Kenya. Uh, I am interested in CBA because it's uh, one other arena where international development and local concerns can be mixed with global environmental policy. And the key agenda of CBA is to try and increase the representation of local needs and vulnerabilities. That's why I'm interested in it. However, I'm not just interested in CBA as a concept in itself, I'm interested in CBA as an example of how uh, governments and e international expert bodies can connect with people living in villages uh, and mix the, the knowledge from global climate models as well as local livelihoods needs. So all of CBA work is a very good example of how to mix local development with global environmental policy. Good morning. My name is uh, Salaton Lentutu and I came from the Narok County. We have uh, a CBO called uh, Medungi, Community Conservation, and that uh, we are glad that uh, we started and we are moving uh, forward because of the support of um, the community effort of the, the, they see that we are doing uh, good and they love it. We came here uh, to this uh, uh, Global Warming Conference, the CBA 9. It is actually, it is a new uh, learning from us of which we meet with different uh, people uh, from different countries. And that we knew that yes, we are doing actually what we supposed to do to the world. And um, mm, uh, we appreciate that for, for the, the, the conference organizations in Caribbean.
My name is Anna Coulomb, I'm a research manager at BBC Media Action. Uh, BBC Media Action, we work across different themes, governance, health, and one of them very important for us is resilience. Um, we always say that uh, audiences are at the heart of what we do, and we do mean it because we do a lot of research always before starting any project. So attending this conference has been very important. Um, I've learned a lot, something that I'm going to incorporate and take back to my colleagues as well. Um, and it's also been very useful to um, understand what other organizations are doing and the challenges they are facing. Because as communicators, we always try and bring together um, these different stakeholders and we try and make these linkages that we've been discussing so much in the conferences between government, between communities. The other outcome has been uh, making lots of useful contacts um, that we can uh, use to benefit each other, we can support other partners to use communications and we can understand from the partners what are the challenges as well. So it's been great, it's been great and, and I hope we can come back again next year. I am Namdi from the WRI, World Resources Institute. I'm the strategy head for the Vulnerability and Adaptation Initiative. I've been, this is my ninth, eighth CBA. I've been attending uh, ever since it was instituted. Uh, I've only missed one CBA. Uh, I, this has been a great learning experience for me, you know, particularly understanding the people's perspective. What is the use of science or any activity uh, if it is not useful to the society? So uh, that particular element of it comes out very clear in every thematic uh, representation of what we have uh, in CBA conferences and uh, it's a great opportunity to learn and exchange knowledge uh, that way I've benefited a lot I've uh, experimented some of the innovative ideas which have come out of this conferences try to implement them uh, in some sense and try to kind of modify certain uh, already uh, applied methodologies which have been pro and, and uh, experimented with. So in that sense, you know, and also it's a great networking opportunity. I'm Fonoche Charlotte Angel. I work with an environmental consulting firm in Cameroon. Sim Services, consultants and intermediaries in mining, energy and the environment. But into climate change, I'm interested as a researcher. I've carried out research in climate change within the Cameroon coastal environment, the coastal communities. And uh, I would say this is my first time attending the CBA. And it's been so inspiring. And as a challenge back home, I will uh, create a network for community based adaptation and uh, a youth network on community based adaptation to be in contact with the CBA network. And uh, the program will be published, we'll make it published on the CBA website. So, and we need some mentorship because it's going to be a new project and um, contributions from the general public. So it's going to be a national-based program. Good morning, uh, Patrick Kirkby. I'm a PhD researcher from the University of Tasmania in Australia. And this is my second CBA conference. I'm, as part of my doctoral research program, I'm investigating the role of culture in community-based adaptation. And this, uh, the CBA conferences have been a really good way to connect with others working in this field um, from a really broad and, and different perspectives and a, a huge amount of kind of practical experience and, and wisdom from, from practice and, and engaging with local communities. So in my research I'm interested in uh, what is the role and significance of, of culture and what even does, does it mean to be culturally engaged in the context of, of this practice of community-based adaptation. And I'm really trying to connect with others in the field because what I'm trying to do in, in kind of my capstone publication is look at how we can provide practical guidance for CBA practitioners uh, around how they can achieve a, a, a practice that's, that's culturally sensitive and, and culturally engaged um, and, and how can we address that. So I've been conducting interviews um, with a number of people here at CBA and sitting on a panel session this afternoon about Indigenous knowledge, culture and adaptation. So really um, looking forward to the opportunity to connect with, with uh, lots of other people working on CBA and explore how we can achieve um, cultural engagement in, in the practice of CBA. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tania Guillem. I'm from Nicaragua and I'm here in the CBA on behalf of, behalf of the Suswatch Network and the Southern Voices Program. 
Uh, this is actually my second time in the CBA. I took part of it in last year in Kathmandu. And now I'm here in Nairobi for my second CBA together with other uh, partners of the Southern Voices program. And I would like the CBA to give me more tools to to work in the community level, but also taking our policies to other levels, like regional and national level, how we can uh, make our governments to adapt, to make some advocacy that they see that our region needs to adapt and to plan you know, for the short, medium and long term also. So my name is Paul Healy, I'm the country director for Throkra here in Kenya. We're an Irish NGO working in 17 to 20 countries worldwide um, and I'm happy to head up the Kenya office here. Um, it's my first time to CBA. Um, I'm really pleased to be here to meet some incredible people doing some incredible work with some really amazing ideas. I'm certainly bringing some wow ideas back on M&E to the, my office and to my organization. Um, would have liked to have seen gender more at the center of things um, as it's a priority for us. Um, looking to see how we do community-based adaptation with a greater focus on women's experiences. So that's something I'm going to be thinking of. I think the finance issue is something really big, but lovely to meet the networks, to meet people who are passionate and committed to communities, to committed to community perceptions of what is important, listening to those communities. So it's a real privilege to be here, and I'm even looking forward to the next one. So thank you very much. Hello, I'm Bina Nathwandari. I work for Practical Action in Nepal and I have been uh, working in this organization for the last 10 years and I look after climate change, adaptation and disaster risk reduction portfolio. Uh, I have been participating CBA conferences uh, since its uh, second uh, conference. Over the period of uh, these conferences, uh, we have covered pretty much uh, themes and there have been ups and downs uh, in, in participation. We have observed uh, different participants uh, interested in different themes. Last year in Kathmandu there were uh, more donor uh, participants because it was a matter of finance. And this year I can see a lot of uh, participants from practitioner point of view because we have a monitoring uh, theme here. So the discussions are leading with the themes. And we have uh, uh, got a lot of uh, improvements in our uh, participation as well, like uh, now themes and the sessions are pretty much efficient in discussions and there is diversity as well. It has helped my work and my, build on my confidence on what I have been working on the ground. Yes, my name is Monica Amparo. I work for K International in Uganda and I work on a project called Partners for Resilience, Climate Proof Disaster Risk Reduction. It's funded by ne Ministry of Foreign Affairs Netherlands through Care Netherlands. It's an alliance project uh, with the global partners being uh, Wetlands International, Climate Center, K International, uh, Catholic Organization for Relief and Development Aid. This is my very first time in the CBA and uh, I have learned a lot and uh, I was very interested in uh, discussions surrounding ecosystem management and restoration in, in community-based adaptation and also the indigenous knowledge, how uh, we track indigenous knowledge and how indigenous knowledge plays a key role in community-based adaptation was very interesting to me. Uh, what I'm taking back home is uh, we have made networks, we've uh, got into friendship with many other people who are coming from different countries, working with different agencies, and uh, it was interesting to share ideas with them, and also to share a poster. We came along with a poster from Uganda, and interestingly, our poster was the best in this CBA9, so we are very, very proud, we are very energized, 
and we are going home with lots of news, lots of information to share with the colleagues and to see how other people can also take interest and participate in the CBAs and also take message back. And we'll be, we, we increase on our coalition for adaptation at community level. I think that's what I can say for now.